Good day, dear students. Today, I am going to share the things that I know about the cell theory. The cell theory is the historic scientific theory that all organisms are made up of cells and that cells are the basic organizational and structural unit of life and that all cells come from pre-existing cells. Let me begin by explaining the difference between a theory and a postulate. A theory is a system of ideas intended to explain something. Postulate, on the other hand, is a fact or truth about something as a basis for reasoning. Let me base my discussion according to the contents of our first module. And according to the module, it says that there are different levels of organization. It begins with a cell, tissue, organs, organ system, organism. We have the population, community, ecosystem, then the biosphere. There are seven people greatly involved in the history of the cell theory. Hans and Zacharias Janssen are Dutch spectacle makers who discovered that objects appear magnified when viewed through a series of lenses. The father and son team created a first compound microscope in the year 1590 when they mounted two glass lenses inside a tube. Robert Hooke coined the term cell. He did this using his own version of the microscope after magnifying a piece of thinly sliced cork from a mature tree and saw tiny compartments. Leeuwin Hoek is a Dutch draper who may have been the first person to see living cells. In 1674, using a microscope he built, he discovered protozoans in pond water. As microscopes improved, so did the understanding of cells. In 1820s, Matthias Clyden, a botanist, hypothesized that a plant cell is an independent living unit even when it is a part of a plant. Theodore Schwann concluded that animals are made up of cells. He is a zoologist with whom Schleiden compared notes with. Schleiden and Schwann articulated their observations as a unified theory in 1839. Their work provided the first two postulates of the cell theory. One, all organisms are composed of cells, and two, cells are the basic units of structure and function in organisms. Rudolf Virchow disproved that cells form by free cell formation or spontaneous generation. He added that every cell had descended from another living cell. Hence, Virchow contributed the third postulate of the cell theory, and that is cells come only from pre-existing cells because cells are self-reproducing. There are three postulates of the cell theory, and these are according to Matthias Schleiden, Theodore Schwann, and Rudolf Virchow. And according to them, number one, all organisms are composed of cells. Number two, cells are the basic units of function and structure in all organisms. And number three, cells come only from pre-existing cells because cells are self-reproducing. Just like any other scientific theory, it has remained and always will be open to revision if new data do not support it. Today, there are six postulates of the modern cell theory. The first three are those mentioned by Schwann, Schleiden, and Virchow. Number four, cells contain hereditary information that is passed from cell to cell during cell division. Number five, all cells are basically the same in chemical composition. And number six, all energy flow, both metabolism and biochemistry of life, occurs within cells. 
That concludes my discussion of module one and some of the contents of the cell theory. I hope you learned something from me and I was able to help you in answering your modules. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you get to enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck, keep fighting, and I love you all.